video with Food Diary from Mount Asan featuring Mr. Kurkuri. So today let's make Goa's favorite most tasty curry that's the fish curry with red snapper. What's up kara and the nuste powder line kara. Meet up fresh. We got our red snappers from Meet up fresh. Let's go. So today we'll make red snapper curry. And if you are new here or you're still watching and have not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram Mr. Kurkuri. Let's start. Okay, so today we are making the most delicious Goan style red snapper curry. So here, let's start. Here I've taken here almost about half a kilo red snapper for which I'm going to start the marination. I'm using half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of salt. And let's nicely mix this and give this to rest. So here we'll keep it to marinate for about 15 minutes. In the meanwhile, let us remove the masala for the curry. For the curry, I've taken here half grated coconut. This is a fat coconut. I'm going to use in this about eight corn corn variety chilies. Now you can use whatever variety you have, but this is a little bit spicy. A very small, tiny ball of tamarind. I'm going to add in the masala half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of coriander seeds, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, about four cloves of garlic and half an inch of ginger. All this goes in the masala, so which we are going to grind very fine. Now I have kept aside half a cup of grated coconut which I am going to use to extract juice. I will take thin and thick juice out of it. So I will grind this nicely to a paste. So here you can see I have extracted one cup of thick coconut milk and one cup of thin coconut milk which I will be using in the curry. Next step, let's grind the masala which we have removed for the curry along with the tamarind. Use a cup of water and grind this to a very smooth paste. In the meanwhile, as the masalas are in ground, let me show you some ASMR of cutting. And the masala is now finely ground and is ready. Now let's start with the curry preparation. So let's get started. Here I've taken a pan. First, we are going to fry in the onion so it is nice and golden. Okay, now goes in the tomato. And fry this again for a while. Once the tomato becomes nice and mushy, it's time to add in the masala. Okay, goes. Now, give it a good stir. Cook this masala for at least 2 minutes, stirring it nicely. Now add in the water from the mixer and give it a good mix. And you can see this thick. Now we are going to add in the coconut milk which we have kept aside. So first we are going to add in the thin coconut milk. So here it goes. There is no need of adding any water. This is enough, this consistency because we still have thick coconut milk with this. So now we are going to cook this for about 5 minutes. Add in the green chilies 
and cook this till the chilies have become a little bit soft. And now let's put the fish in the gravy. Oh. Now give it a nice stir. Now, along with this, we are going to add in the thick coconut milk. Just give this a nice boil so both gets cooked, the fish gets cooked. Now give it a nice gentle stir and here you need to adjust the taste. Now you require to add in salt to taste. Here we add in salt to taste. Now cook this only for 2 minutes because the fish is soft, it will be nicely cooked. If you overcook it, it will lose its taste. And then again you will have to check the taste and that's it. You can see here the delicious red snapper curry is ready. It's so tasty. I wish you try it and enjoy it. And your red snapper curry is now ready. It is so delicious and tasty. Like look at this guys, so good. So try it now, share, like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Mr. Kurkurit. Let's go in the next one. Zing.